Hi people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'll be showing you guys how to tie this center knot gilly. <laughs> yes, guys. So, guys, I measured my gilly into two places 50 50. That is half and half. Like, I folded it into two. Then I started at the center. Then I'm pleating my gilly into six pieces. So, six places. I'm placing it. This is the base. I'm placing it to six. Yes, people. So I'm telling my muse or my client to hold it at the side while I pleat the remaining part. I'll be showing you guys shortly. But I pleat the edge of my ghillie. Yes, guys, I'm showing you guys right now. I'm putting it, I'm putting it on top of each other with little space. Guys, do not lap your ghillie on each other so much. It won't turn out fine. Just, there should be a bit of space. Um at the base in the super little so yes people so guys I'm doing the same thing at the other parts this is my boss that gilly chick she has lots of gilly contents guys you guys can go over there also vlogs can go over there and watch her contents guys so she's a nice youtuber please show some love from my side subscribe like and share comment that you are from so so david thank you guys so yes i've done that place at the other side and i am crossing it over each other because this time no one is longer than anyone so i just have to cross it at equal length so i'm crossing it and i'm making another pleats now starting off with pleats three i'm making three pleats this time on top of my base so I'll be showing you guys now I've made my first pleat this is my second pleat so guys I make my pleats like from the under of the gilly and I come upwards as I make my pleats I do not just start from where my hands is at the beginning I make my pleats I start from the under beneath it under of the gill and make my plates. I've made this part so I will tell my clients or my muse to help me hold it. Otherwise I can use my pin to hold it also. But I really feel it's preferable for your clients to help you hold it. You can do both. Anyone you like. So yes people. So guys I'm at the other side and I'm making my place again from under the like the the you just see the pleat shard to be looking visible so i'm starting from the last part of the gilly i'm starting i'm making a base on top of it again i'm making it so i start again from the back of the gilly and not from where my hand is normally so yes i'm making a pleat again I'm making three once more but please do not have to be big, they can be small but pretty. You know how to make them bogus, guys. Remember, guys, you can always practice, practice makes perfect. You don't, you, you can't build room in the day, room wasn't built in the day, so guys, so always practice your gilly skills. So, yes. So this is part I take my gilly, I take it like one part in half. I do not take everything at once to tie because I won't get what I'm looking for. I have to take like parts of it because you can see I'm taking part of it, part of both sides. Then I tie, I tie it, I tie it. You make sure your client or your muse is holding the gilly at the base so that it doesn't lose or your pleats that you made of and it do not scatter. So make sure it's tight. Tight. I'll keep on asking your client, is it tight enough? Then you just arrange your front. Look at the way I'm arranging my front. Make sure making sure it's pretty. And I tie it again at the back. I do not tie it at the front, guys. I tie it at the back so this will look pretty. That's the style. So 
so guys this is me dragging out my ghillie dragging it at the end just arranging it bringing it out so i can start making my pleats i drag it at the end and i raise it up and i start making my pleats underneath starting from beneath the ghillie beneath it so i start from the back and i move to the front just do that until I've gotten the pleats I want. Give okay, it's all about making pleats all about arrangement. The arrangement is key. Most times, just make it to be perfect the way you like it. So guys, I'm just arranging the top of the ghillie and I'm starting again, I'm almost done, so I just drag it out because it's feeling like it's tight and it's not making the round, the round shape I want, so I'll just drag it out a little bit and I will just make it. So again, I do the same thing on the other side, I make my pleats again, making them starting from the back of the kitty to the front that's what i do look at how beautiful my boss is that great chick anyways guys so yes i still continue making my pleats until it's perfect i just continue making my pleats guys If you notice, whenever I'm making my pleats, it says when I make it, I shift it forward. So it gives the upper part a round shape. I just, again, I just did it. I shift it forward, making sure I'm doing it right. There are times that you can just look at it at the back and just check it. So, guys, this is me pinning both sides together, I'm pinning them together. That's the way it will obviously stay. So I'm putting them together. Then I just so what I just arrange it so whatever I like. So I just arrange the back of my gaily to make it look pretty. Afterwards I shift it backwards. I ask the client if it's okay. They say it's okay. And I just leave it. I just shift it a little bit. Then I just arrange my plates, making sure. It's just the way I love it, just the way I like it. So guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you like, I hope you share, I hope you also comment. Please guys, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you guys. Bye.